it seemed silly to start one side of the country and go all the way to the other and not stop and enjoy it along the way. The word escape. What does it mean? For some, it's a physical breakout, to be set free. In other ways, it's simply a headspace. From Aaron's perspective, the ultimate escape to freedom was both an endurance challenge and the trip of a lifetime. Aaron looks to meander his way via bike through the most beautiful spaces the UK quietly boasts, starting in the Scilly Isles and finishing in the distant lands of the Shetlands. An idea birthed from a lockdown daydream, now to materialise into a reality. How will I know the way without the signpost? So we've got to go find it. Followed by a film crew to document his journey and powered by the desire to once again be free. to take the scenic route and immerse himself in the unique experiences each region has to offer. How many times have you been surfing? I think three times. Thereabouts. Any good? No. <laughs> However, to really understand where the Great Escape comes from, we first need to decode Aaron Rolf. He's an adventurer, seeking out new challenges and finding optimism in the most unlikely of places. A man who lives by the phrase, I'm sure it'll be all right. Just me and the sheep. Some would describe him as a bit reckless, a description that he'd probably be proud of. Where are you going? Bike Park, Wales, Gethin Woodland Centre. <laughs> <laughs> it was slightly bad for a bit, but just occasionally comes back. Yeah. Yeah, and I just remember the start, the, the, the feeling of the trauma. It must have a mechanism. Where we've come from? Mechanism. mechanism. Big jump. Okay. How did he get up here? He's more oh, back right. up here. Okay, fair play. Well done. Found him apparently. You got a skizzers. Zip. Tried to jog it off at first. Didn't work. Ever had blunt trauma before, there, Ronnie? No, no, I have not. I have now. Oh, oh, oh! And then I was like, "This isn't going anywhere." Bike park one. Aaron Roth, no. 
With the pain that I was in, that just discomfort for such a long period, I just wanted everything to be over. That makes sense. Whatever the consequences long term, I just wanted short term relief. I wanted to be asleep. All hands on, then, guys. A severed internal organ off the back of one's own doing is, for most, a rather life-changing event. Maybe for Aaron it was, but he'd never let it show. 31 years of evading hospitals. Perhaps this eventuality was destined to happen. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can't believe I ripped my colon completely in half. He does that. Did they recommend doing another, you know, 1800 uh, kilometers on a bike? They said, they said you've got to carry on. Time had moved on, but nothing had really changed. The job is only half done. So you survived Bike Park Wales, that was a bit of a result really. I did, yeah, against all the odds. Although, I didn't do the jump, did I? So there's work to be done, I will be back, I promise you that. Just don't tell my mum or my girlfriend. Seriously, don't, don't tell my mum or my girlfriend. It's not all sunsets and rainbows. The short-lived rush from reigniting the challenge is soon contrasted with the slow, monotonous grind through the wet hills of Wales and England. Two words echo through these misty valleys and along these saturated paths. Rain. Ride. Rain. A bit chilly now. In weather like this, it can be the simple pleasures that get you through. Peanut butter sandwich in a little Nutella wrap. Is it a wrap? Is it a sandwich? Nobody really knows. It's a yes from me. In amongst harsh conditions, humans have a unique ability to substitute sunshine with pints. Turns out, beer gardens are quite fitting for a late night wild camp. I think you're on something there. A happy man once said, when there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. After all, no amount of frowning will change the will or momentum of Mother Nature's hand. You looking forward to your sixth day in the rain? Yeah, yeah I am. I've got used to the rain. The rain's my new life now. I love rain, love the rain. Cumbria, home to our tired cyclist. 
Who would have thought in the Lake District of all places, the wettest place on earth? Here we are. A setting and an opportunity to connect with old friends in the place he knows best. Forced positivity can have a strange effect, possibly a shortcut to finding the rhythm and enjoying the ride. of like all the adventures you can do up in the UK and then just connecting them all with the bike. Yeah, sweet. Were you here for a stop on the uh, far edge? Yeah, it looks fun. Yeah, last night. Have you ever slept off the side of the cliff before? I haven't, no, not like this. There's a lot to be said for taking the path less trodden. A mantra for those looking for a journey inside as well as out. calories was it yesterday? Five and a half thousand yesterday. I think probably another four thousand today. Oh, it is buggy. Oh, that's quite big. Yeah, just lots of nature noises last night. Plenty of bees knocking around. There's birds. And the sun rose just up, directly up there. So yeah, it's stunning, first thing in the morning. You like the bagpipes? I love the bagpipes. Yeah. I wish I could play the bagpipes. Yeah. It's really hard, apparently. Scottish skies and a gentle southerly wind. Aaron sees nothing but further adventures on yonder. Yeah, We're going to start with Anik Igich, the ridge over there. Come down, jump on the bike, cycle around through Fort William to Nevis Mountain Centre. We're going to try and ski in June. A little bit of luck, there'll be some snow on the top. Big day. Big day. <laughs> yeah, big day. In the morning. In the morning, mate. No. Right. Mike put my nose out the tent at like four ish and the sun was coming. Up or down, I didn't even know anymore. <laughs> How was the ridge? Quite uh, rocky and intense, but good. 
This is really tiring. But no, I'm okay, I think. I just need to eat. Come back up to the top again. We need to grab another quick shot. You know what? If we had more time, I would love to do that again. That's it. Witnessing this, we ask ourselves, why? Well, why not? Clouds can form from sun-bleached skies. Wise words can be formed from harsh lessons. Ah, uh, Cooling Ridge. I think we're off. That is sky and that is the nature of it. There's always another day. Never worth dying for a mountain, maybe, probably. Ah, uh, well. Perhaps, in order to freely carve your own adventure, we need to keep looking forwards. Expect nothing and accept everything. Learn to flow fluidly like water or whiskey. Disappointment can be a cold consequence of adventure. In a way, a yin to its yang. It's about leaning into the long road ahead. Endure the ups and milk the downs. Yeah, I'm quite tired today. Today is a struggle. I think I'll be back. I feel quite dehydrated. I was, getting, I was feeling a bit dizzy as well. Good. Stomach doesn't feel great. But um, descents are fun. Yeah, that was quick. Ascents, less fun. <laughs> this is a man that's descending into madness. Action. Action on the sandwich. What was he saying? I don't know. I don't <laughs> delirious. Know. Up we get. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Games. Good. This is the
Sometimes it's important to lean back and let yourself go numb to the action. Be nothing but a blissful observer to the beauty of the space you're in. If you're lucky and get the right place at the right time, the observer can be a paintbrush moving across a barren, unspoilt canvas. The Great Escape means many things to Aaron and indeed everyone who ponders it. What's certain is at this point where mountains meet the sea is that experiences like this are a dish to be shared. Where the mainland shatters into shards of broken earth, our storytellers ride with Aaron through the final push of this great escape. Do you want to get chips now? Or... That's a serious weight to that.
wirklich. Das ist gut Käse. I think there's something really impactful about feeling like this is the end of land and that is literally just the Atlantic Ocean, as far as you can see. Um, and it's so dramatic, huge sea cliffs. Feels like a fitting end to the Great Escape. Smashing to be able to see somebody using something. Pedal every every bit yourself. You're a purist, are you? Yep. Where's Will Gun? Where was Will? Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> Having the time of his life. <laughs> That's not deal. <laughs> we learned to climb through rivers and everything. <laughs> I fell over twice. We're here, let's go. Well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So lucky to have timed it with this weather. Yeah, because it's really of anywhere in the UK. I'd like it to be clear. It's been perfect. Same. Same. Yeah, I really didn't realise it was that high up. No, I didn't until I was up there. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you survived. Yeah. Not a nutcase. Oh, He's a jolly oh, good man. Man. <laughs> Guys, that, that was the plan. That was always the plan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>